When you hear the words juvenile detention, you don't often think of hugs and kisses and the loving ruffling of fur. But in Rutherford County, officials there think that dogs can sometimes be a troubled student's best friend. All right, guys, come on in. Here at the Rutherford County Juvenile Detention Center. Hi, guys. It's time for these young men to take a break from class. When you first meet a person, you can tell if they're friendly. And get ready for a different kind of lesson. My name is Susan Lucas, and I come here to share with you my dogs. Those dogs are Mika. Mika, come. Trixie and Teddy. They're Shetland sheep dogs. They're herding dogs. All members of Pet Partners. And it was introduced to kind of release some anxiety and kind of counteract our no-touch policy. They communicate with their tail the same way we communicate with our face. Trainer Susan Lucas is here to teach the students. Even though it's wagging, it's to the left. It's like, mm, it's a negative thing. How to do just that. Come on, let's go say hello. Your dog has to rely on you and trust you. You all are a group and you're going to learn how to support each other. One finger is all it takes. There you go. Yeah. They got to do teamwork. They get to be empathetic to one another. Like if somebody's not doing as good, they encourage each other. The first part of the test would be me shaking hands. Sit. And her not interacting with you, okay? And then sit. Sit. Just petting her and her allowing you to pet her. The dogs help students learn teamwork. <laughs> Look how happy, look at that happy face. And also offer compassion. And when she is in your circle, that is good. Kids are here for very serious charges. They get to kind of interact with that dog and hug the dog and kind of give them some emotional support while they're in here. Say hello. But it's not just kids who've done something they shouldn't have who interact with the animals. So take the dog for a walk. Sometimes the dogs can offer children a chance to bond. And now call her to you. With a living, breathing, four-legged friend. They're here from the abuse and neglect and actions of their parents. Rutherford County Juvenile Court Judge Donna Scott Davenport says, and it breaks down their fear. Therapy dogs help the students cope. They've done nothing wrong, but they have to be in court. Sometimes they have to testify. And having the love of that dog. Now have her sit. It is a huge difference for our children to not be so terrified. Pet them and see what happens. But the young men and women whose actions have sent them here. There it goes. <laughs> learning another lesson. No, no, I would like you to do this. Teaching these Watch dogs me. something they may not have even learned yet. Why did she listen to you? To follow the rules. You changed. That's what the judge has been trying to tell me I'm going to do. My parents have been telling me that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and the light bulb goes on. That's my favorite part. <laughs> and that's all we want. All right, tell her how good she is and go give her a cookie. Say, let's go get a cookie. The successful program has been going on in Rutherford County for about a year and a half.